You wanted big builds? Well, you got it. Minecraft with Daedalus 822. Build big or go home. Hey guys, this is episode 124 of my Let's Play series. What are we going to be doing today? Well, we're actually going to be uh, starting something different today. Something probably you're all not expecting. Um, we're going to be building a nether wart farm. Yes, a nether wart farm. You're probably wondering why. Well, recently, the amount of potions that I've actually been using around here, like the underwater breathing potions and the... the, the uh, the night vision potion so you can see underwater. I've been using so many of them. Anyway, I uh, recently come to my attention that uh, my nether wart supply is pretty much ne ne next to nothing. So the key goal here is to build a small, let me repeat that, a small <laughs> nether wart farm, okay? We're not going to go 20 stories. We'll maybe do one, two, three, four. I don't know. We'll see. So this should be a pretty short project. It's just a, it's, it's a side project to, um, yeah, before we get started on anything major, majorly huge. So it shouldn't take long. Well, it shouldn't take long, but it might. I, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway... Okay, so I've got plans. Let's go down. So I'm going to try my very best to keep it small. And it's really hard for me to go small. But let's, let's call this a medium build. Yeah, let's call this a medium build. That's probably the best way I can possibly uh, describe what I'm thinking. So let me take you upstairs and um, show you. Well, yeah, well, try to explain what I'm thinking. So let's uh, go. I'm... I'm I was going to build it over here, but then we've got where it's really close to the village uh, trading hall. Um, so, yeah, no, 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 no. Um, I'm thinking over this side this time. Okay. So, let's go over here real quick. I should have brought some more ender pearls. I could have got up here quicker. Okay. So, just uh, probably behind the, the stables here, somewhere just here or in here, just as long as we can connect the hallway up to it. It's not going to be built under the water. Uh, this one's going to be out of the water as a project. So this is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking a huge ball here. And it's going to be made out of red brick um, with water flowing out of it. And it's connected to the ocean floor. So it's it's sort of, if you do you guys remember my old um, wheat domes, um, sort of shaped like that, but not the same. I, I, did I say huge ball? I meant medium small ball. <laughs> <laughs> not with my luck, it's going to be huge. Anyway, um, there's going to be two floor, two floors to this ball. Um, inside the ball, uh, the bottom floor, we're going to have a storage room for the nether wart. And on the top floor, we're going to have, obviously, the one data, the one floor um, for farming the nether wart. Now, nether wart's pretty basic to farm, obviously. It just, you plant and it grows. It's like wheat, almost, but it doesn't require water. So, you know, you, you can't really automate it. There's no way to automate this. It's just a press button, get tons of nether wart. Or, or not tons, a decent amount of nether wart. So, yeah, the project shouldn't take too long. One or two episodes, I'm not sure. I just, yeah, I really need nether wart right now. I was trying to make some potions before and I realized, whoa, I got near next to nothing. I could just do a really basic, you know, put soul sand around and do it that way but no no we're gonna we're gonna set something up a little more permanent so you know later on down the track when this when this structure is finished just in here somewhere underneath probably in the ocean we're going to have a brewing room eventually like don't get me wrong we're not br building it straight after the the nether wart farm but yeah we're going to come back and we're going to build that the brewing station area that i really really want to get built uh later on down the track but yeah i have a slime farm and stuff to build first okay so anyway we should go ahead and get a shopping list together, which is just going to consist of, you guessed it, um, bloody, what's it called, uh, bloody red brick, uh, nether brick, that's it. I keep forgetting the bloody name, sorry. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the plan for the next couple of episodes. Um, I know I sort of surprised everyone because everyone's like, Data's starting a slime farm next episode. No, Data's not. Data's doing something completely different. He's going to build a nether watt farm. <laughs> So, yeah, this will be made out of, uh, we're going to pr hopefully be doing, so I have been smelting. I s converted all the nether rack I had into bricks, and then I turned all the bricks into, well, the, the single bricks. They have pretty much got the same name, nether brick, nether brick, 
okay. So, yeah, no, I converted them all into what I had. This is it, what I've got. So it's not going to be a huge, crazy... Um, yeah, it can't be, because I'll have to go farm more nether brick. So the plan is to keep it medium size and i keep saying small but i know ever to everyone else people people are like no that's not going to be small data it's going to be huge it's going to be a monster so anyway let's go plan out the area and start attacking this i suppose is really really yeah let's not muck around let's get to get to work so it's going to be a similar ball that but red but big huge massive uh, small Whatever, get off my back. You're going to say, Data, that's not freaking small. That's huge. That's not fair. Okay, so uh, while we're running over there, I must tell you, uh, plots, if you want to build anything round, ball, spear, whatever you want, that's uh, the objects in Minecraft, you can go to this fantastic guide. It's called Plots, and you will be able to... You'll be able to pretty much build round objects in Minecraft, okay? Balls, everything. You know, whatever you want. Domes round anything okay um so yeah i'll leave a link in the description i always tell people that because oh it's a bit of pain in the backside the amount of retarded people that's like you used world edit you can't make round objects in minecraft without world edit just sort of like a face palm moment so i always try to remind it drives me up the wall reminding you and it drives you guys up the wall that i keep reminding you um, I'm just trying to map out what the best thing. I'm thinking right where I'm standing. It's not too close to our laser cannon of doom, but it's um, not too far away. You know, it's going to connect really easy. So probably where I'm standing right now is perfect. So let's dive. Um, I know you guys can't really see, but I'm yeah. I'm just going to get the 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 ball kick started on camera, and then we'll we'll um. Yeah, so we'll just build a platform up, then I'll get started. Oh, quick, go, 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 go. So if you're underwater like this and you're going to drown, best thing is to put, put, oh, okay. Stop it. Oh, no, I can't drown. Yeah. The best thing is to use a torch like that, okay? So if you place a torch, it creates an air block and you can get a breath of air. So it looks like this is where we're going to build the platform up. So let me get this platform started and we're going to skip right forward. Quick, 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 quick. Oh man, I'm gonna drown. I'm gonna become. Oh crap! Go 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 go! There. Okay. So now we need to judge how high off the ground do we want it. We want it higher than that ball. It can't be. Can't be equal to that. So I'll eat some chicken after that. Um, almost drowning incident. Yeah, let's call it the almost drowning incident. I think that's perfect, right where we stand here. Yeah, I think it is. Well, if we start the ball here, yeah, it would probably top off about there where we're standing. I think it'll be about fine. Yeah, I think this is good. This is a good spot to start. All right, platform it up just so we can. Uh oh, no! Can't wait. Can't waste nether brick. Oh, I've got to run back and get some building round circles and domes and and balls and stuff like that in Minecraft. You're going to realize you need some. Um, wastage material because when you're doing side things and you have to dig something out yeah um, people know what I, I, I mean if you've built one before you need like cobblestone just to not waste any of this brick so all right we've got a platform I think this will be the ladder that will be fine let's I'm gonna well the sun's gone down anyway if I had an ender pearl I could have just thrown it to my bedroom and probably made that god damn it um Okay, all right, all right, guys. I'll be back soon, and hopefully, I'll get this uh, ball built real quick, and we can start building the actual farm itself. See, the ball is just, yeah. See, that's not that big. Um, so the ball itself is just really a shell. You know, we build everything inside this shell. Um, yeah, it's just to look pretty, and we got to hurry up. Oh, nothing's going to spawn out here anyway. And again, data with the failing with the with the ender pearls. Um, yeah, so, yeah, I'm going to get this built. As I said, plots is in the description. If you need a guide on how to build a dome, a ball, whatever, okay? All right, so I'll be back shortly, guys. Well, for you, it'll be shortly. For me, it'll be hours later building this stupid ball. God damn it. All righty then, guys. I am back, and uh, I've kind of uh, stopped halfway between the build. 
um, just to explain, you know, what I'm going to be doing. So this thing is possibly a little too big. <laughs> I realise that now. Looking at it, I'm just thinking to myself, well, that's not good. It was meant to be small, Data. Small. I don't think I know what the meaning of small means. Um, okay, so, yeah, okay, so, as you can see, we're right next to the base, and, jeez, this thing's huge. So, I've already been farming more, um, nether brick. I ended up smelting more down, which, that's, hence the brick there is for. Um, so, yeah, well, the, the cobblestone will come out, so you're probably scratching your head. It's like, what the hell's with the cobblestone? That's there to help when you're doing the, the laps to put the rings in. Uh, that's there just to place the outside block a lot. It, it helps a lot easier. So you, I go and take that out afterwards when I'm doing the bottom part of this ball. Uh, the top part. Now, let's talk about the top part. This is why I wanted to take a break and, you know, fill you in what's going on. So you just, bam, it's not there. So anyway, as you may have may have uh, guessed, this is way too big. Um, I'm not going to take it down now. I'm just going to wing it and um, use what I've got. Well, so the collection area down here is going to be a lot bigger than I thought. And obviously the floor that we're standing on, because right here, um, let's use cobblestone so I don't get confused. So this should be the floor, the main floor with a big square plate in the middle here uh, for the actual nether warts themselves so we'll get to that part soon I just wanted to explain the the actual ball design so uh, the rest is going to be in glass and I'm going to put glowstone and glass over the top which is quite easy so all I got to do is stockpile the glass and start smelting some of that sand down and pretty much remove all the the cobblestone blocks that I've uh, left there you see so yeah I just wanted to fill you guys in on how I'm going and where I'm up to, but yeah, I've smelted uh, some brick, more brick down. I just uh, I'm way too far away from a fortress to go fortress hunting. Uh, Pickaxe of Doom and Netherrack does the job. Industrial furnace, new no problem. Okay, so I just thought I'd give you guys a quick update, and hopefully, you see, I can get down into my base from here, but I can't get back up. I'll show you what I mean. I'll throw the ball. Oh, crap. Okay. Missed. I was aiming for that there, but I can't get it. No. No. Nah. See? You can't get it. <laughs> so, yeah. I've been practicing a lot more with the, the uh, ender pearls. But, yeah. That, there, there's a bottom view right there. Looking good. Looking good. There's going to be water leaking out the sides, too. It's, it, I've got to tr I'm trying to make it fit into the rest of the build. See? I've got balls and round things everywhere. So... This should fit in once it's done. Remember, there's going to be a big, uh, I don't know what you call it, going down to the sea floor with a, with, with a tunnel going to it. Uh, we'll get to that at a later stage. Anyway, I'm going to go grab some glass. And I'm going to get started on uh, the top part. And then we'll be back and uh, we'll start putting some of the floors in, I think. Alrighty then, guys. I am back. And... Uh, it's done. Well, the, the the shell is done. Not even the bottom's done yet. I don't know if you can see that, but far out. I'm not used to seeing something new coming out of the uh, the, the storage area. I just got a bunch of uh, redstone stuff. So, yeah, I'm definitely not used to seeing something new up there yet. <laughs> oh, far out. So, so that ball there's probably taken me mm, a few, quite a few hours to put together. Only reason, because I had to stop to farm some more netherrack. Um, we need to get back up there ASAP so we can uh, continue on the way. And actually, let's go to sleep first. One of the things we'll do first before going up there. I don't know. Up we go. There we go. I love my bedroom. Yeah. Get out of the hot tub. Yeah, that's not too, too bad. So remember, there's going to be a big stand on it. A big round cylinder stand going all the way down to the sea floor. And we're just going to connect it into... So later on... Later, later on, like now that this uh, nether wart farm is coming together, um, yeah, probably will, down underneath the ocean there will be a um, uh, like a brewing area eventually, and we'll run it down, run the, the the hoppers down and into the brewing room. So that's the that's the eventual plan. But le you know, at least I have a supply of nether wart um, for now. That's what I want to do. So that's why we're doing this small project. Cough, cough, cough. <laughs> It's been half a day for me, but it's been, I think, what, 10, 15 minutes for you guys. 
Far out. Where's that coming from? Crikey. Okay, whatever. Um, I wonder if I can just break out of here for now. Whoa! Whoa! I must have hit the side. Woohoo! Okay, so let's go up and do a bit more work on this this girl. Remember, this is just the just the 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 the, the shell of the farm. You know, there's nothing. To it. Be careful because I've had spawns in here already. Whoop! There we go. Okay, it's all good. It's all good. Okay, so I've brought hoppers and stuff over. All right, let's get to work. So yeah, I know I've still got to remove all these damn blocks to build the damn thing, but as you can see, nice and beautiful. It will look nothing, nothing like this when it's full, obviously. Stuff, hoppers and redstone and storage room and yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. So what I need to do is what have we got on us? Let's get a few hoppers out and just got pistons and stuff. So let's go ahead and take these. Um, we'll drop some nether brick off. And the pearls can go, and uh, this can be merged, and that can go. I need redstone, just a tad of it. A little tad of it, lol. Uh, put that block in there. Alright, let's, um, let's climb up there. Okay, alright, okay. So, if we can get up here, right? There we go. Just use this as stairs for now. Perfect. Okay, so this will be the floor. Remember, you know, you know, long time ago, the wheat domes is a sort of similar design, but not the same. The old wheat domes was like a square in here, and water will wash wheat down into the center and and go down the center of this whole thing and out to a collection room. That's not this. Um, there will be a shifting plate design in the middle of this this floor which will shift soul sand around breaking the soul sand and again it's sucked up by hoppers and then you know and then be under all this under this this free space under here is going to become a nice storage room with a nice lookout glass windows and stuff so that is the plan now okay so i'm just gonna wing it because i have no clue which way this is going to be facing or how big it's going to be so okay let's just Let's get some scaffolding going across here. We can deconstruct later on. So I've gone with red. You're probably wondering why that I went with the red brick. Because it's really, I don't know, nether what you get from a fortress. And I figured, why not? Why not? Why not have a different color? Like, come on. The, 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 the mob farm is blue. Now we got red. What else? What else? Another farm we got to build around the... The, the base, so, yeah, okay, so, obviously the beacon, that is where my base is, so, there's going to be stairs going down sideways here, so we have to leave a decent gap over there, so it looks like we're going to work from there, forwards, that's probably the best way to go, so what we're going to do first, as I said, scaffolding, which can come down later, so the original, like the the shifting four ID, got um, come from um, Doc M. You know he had this little test world and he he showed like this little shifting floor for Nether Warts and I'm like hmm that's not a bad. I don't know if he actually used it because I don't know if he watched any. I don't watch any of his videos so I just might have. I, I want to state that the the shifting floor ID did come from him. So okay, all right. So what do we got? If we can take it, say, from here, we need to take it down one. So if that's going to be the walkway, that means the piston has to go here. So there. Sorry, I'm just thinking in my head roughly how this is all going to sit. All right. Cobblestone. Crikey. Inventory's full of junk. Well, not junk. Hoppers are not junk. Definitely not. So if we did that, and the pistons were sitting on there, like that. So let's take the pistons out. Did I bring the pistons up? You have got to be kidding me. They're probably... Oh. Alright. Enderpearls? No. Pistons? 
No, 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 no. Fine, be like that. Let's just put the redstone in first. So that there, if that's the pistons, we'll push the soul sand. Yeah, that seems about right. So let's go ahead and fill this in here. All along here. So, yeah, it'll be pre pretty much half cobblestone, half, half nether brick. Like, the interior is going to be nether brick. You won't be able to see most of this cobblestone. We might have a cobblestone round path around the whole thing with some with some nice decorations in the end. I don't know. That's decorating stage. You know, builds don't, don't look good when you first start them. It's, you know, kind of obvious because you're just starting off. But, yeah. I'm actually surprised how much work I've got done today alone. Especially this size. Especially this size. Um, okay. So. Now. If that's going to be the, pretend to be pistons. And I suppose. I think cobblestone walkaways will, oh, whoa. Whatever. So yeah, there'll be pistons pushing soul sand. So there will be a dip, because they'll be hidden like that those pistons underneath okay all right so we need to come out okay so piston soul sand one two three four four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve how much room twelve this thing doesn't need to be huge that that, that row we're twelve um thirteen there that's it thirteen okay Alright, so that'll be leave for this grand stairway idea, because I've got a grand stairway idea to come in here. So we've got redstone to come down here. Um, so we need to come down one. We need to come down one than that. Crikey. Cobblestone. Check in. If I, had, if I could drink coffee in Minecraft, I would. <laughs> mm -mm -mm -mm. Chicken and coffee. After a long day's work. Fantastic. Actually, that's going to work real well. Because, yeah, now that's going to work extremely well. Just fill this up. Hell yeah. Okay, yeah, so this... <laughs> I started off the day going small, build small. And then I end up with this massive ball dome thingamajig, whatever, which I need to fill up with redstone and shifting floors and... Oh. I was just expecting this little baby ball with this little baby room. <sighs> Whatever. Doesn't matter. What's done's done. Okay. So, that would be the pistons, right? No, 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 though. Because if that's the 13th block. So, yeah, that would be the pistons. So, all this whole thing in here is going to be a whole bigger, big, big, big shifting floor. Okay. So, that would be it there. I don't know if I have enough hoppers with me. Whoop, well, went too far. There. Okay. So, we can go ahead and leave this cobblestone here for now. And I don't have any soul sand. Zero, so I have to go farm some soul sand. Probably do in the miscellaneous chest, but I'll farm that later off camera. Let's just see if we can. So, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Oh, yeah, okay. So, that way is base. Sorry, I, I'm, I'm in my head, I'm planning a big window there and a big grand staircase. So, I want to see my base. I'm making sure everything's facing the right way. That's all I need. So, what I need to do is now we're going to put um, uh, hoppers down. Because if you did not know, if you did not know, hoppers can pick up through pick up items through uh soul sand and even though soul sand's like a full block like that it's not a half slab uh hoppers can still suck right through it so that so what's going to happen is this whole floor is going to shift the whole soul sand is going to shift breaking ev all the nether wart and then of course straight away all these hoppers are ready to mm -mm -mm, suck them up and then go down into the storage you see we'll just have a button out here and then quickly replant it yeah okay so that's the whole idea here Sorry if you haven't got my ideas, but, <laughs> you know me, I'm like crazy. There we go. This is actually the very first nether wart farm. What did I go too far? Of course, you went too far. Remember, this is small data. Small. 
still it's going to have a ton of hoppers and not recommend it if you don't have enough resources to build. <laughs> Crikey. Oh, the sun's going down. We should be okay in here. I'm not 100% sure. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Oh, well. We should be. I've got torches everywhere. You'll be okay. Okay. All right, guys. I'll be right back. I'm just going to put the rest of these hoppers in, and then we'll go get the pistons. Alrighty then, guys. I am back, and I've got the floor in. It's not off-centered. Um, I've used the back wall to measure it, because it... In the what I'm looking at now, it looks really off-centered. It looks not well. It is off-centered. I meant it lopped to one side. I was just looking at it because um, you know I need this big gap here for the big grand stairway I want to do. But um, obviously we can't have this centered because it just wouldn't, wouldn't be enough room. And I know that it's a ton of hoppers. I've pretty much used up um, yeah a few good few stacks for that. Um, but it's worth it. It's worth it. More hoppers. Mm -mm -mm. So, yeah, it is definitely centered. I'll show you what I mean in a second. But I was just coming down here to get the pistons to put those in. Oh, so it's coming along good. These shifting plate floors are pretty easy, simple to, to put in. So what I've actually done is um, how I've measured it. So see how these these two blocks here of the of the ball, it's not really a dome. That's the dome part. This is the bot. It's really, it's a ball. Okay, so... As you can see, yeah, so I've come right to the edge here, part of that, and same over here. So that's how I know it's not really lopsided. See, I've come to that as well. All right, okay. So, yeah, because a lot of people might go, oh, that is one to one side. It's not to one side. It's okay. It's just because this side's got heaps of scaffolding on it, and that side doesn't. Uh, just, just wanted to point that out because some people might try point that out to me, which I know it's not off-centered. So what we're going to do now is put these um, pistons in and then I think we're gonna call it a day I think we've done a ton of work today which I'm quite happy with so yeah I have to farm some soul sand later down in the nether <laughs> hopefully no fried data um, yeah and just really next episode what we're gonna do is start on the collection area well collection area yep that's fun we're gonna start on the collect because this this end hopper line here is actually the air, the drainage see the drainage so all the all the lines come into this end and it's sort of facing down this way so yeah the the oh, cracky so so yeah next episode we'll we'll put do a bit of the redstoning for this which is pretty easy it's just just a, a couple of hoppers together which will make it go switch switch back and forwards just like i did on the um the the witch farm but instead of using a a repeater clock like a repeater clock sort of thing it's going to be hoppers which is quite easy. A couple of comparators, a couple of hoppers, GG. Let me fix that up. Fantastic. Good stuff. And there we go. So, one of these sides could technically, this side's probably going to be extended because I just figured this could be, this will be a waste because one side will have like a gap. So this here could actually be moved back one is probably the best idea because there's, there's always got to be a gap. You can't just fill this entire thing up with soul sand. It won't be able to push itself back and forwards. That's just ridiculous. So yeah, move this back one, which is, yeah, it's really starting to get, cut into my idea of some stairs that are going to go in here. Uh, well, yep, I see the beam. That's all good. So the stairs are going to, yeah, it'll come down. It'll come down and then sort of go down into the to the collection area, which will have like a, a storage system in there for now. Later on down the track, as I said, we're going to run we're going to run um, the hopper line probably from that storage system down to the sea floor, where we're going to have the adventural um, uh, freaking brewing room thingamajig, which I've got to set up. So yeah. So this is a plan for the future, which is good. All right, I think we're going to call it here. It's been one hell of a day. It's time to take a break. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching episode 124. And join me for episode 125, where we'll continue on this so-called small netherwart farm. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll catch you all later.
Click to the left to view the previous episode and on the right for the next video if it is available. If you like this video, please like, share, and add this video to your favorites. Follow Daedalus822 on the social media formats listed below and be sure to hit that subscribe button.